It feels good to create something that other people actually want to watch. There's a lot of comments of, you know, even people that are like, I was having a shitty day today. And, and like, this made my day. You know, yeah. your video like made me smile. And you're like, okay. You're like, that's pretty cool. I had that effect. <laughs> We're just talking to a camera. It's us and it's a camera. To think that you're reaching millions of people blows my mind on a daily basis. Uh, I'm Rob, uh, online video creator for Threadbanger. Maybe introduce me to you. Like, oh, okay. I don't All know. Right. It's kind of weird. This is my esteemed colleague. <laughs> I don't like it. Uh, Why is the beginning always so hard? <laughs> Corinne, just Rob and Corinne. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Rob. Uh, this is Corinne, and we are the producers behind the channel Threadbanger. Just standing here with my middle finger. <laughs> Threadbanger is all about testing all of those DIY projects you see on the internet and seeing if a normal person can actually accomplish them. <laughs> Space, the final frontier. <laughs> We've been married five years, but together for almost 13 years. I'm Corinne. And I'm Rob. Welcome to DIY Fashion, the do-it-yourself fashion show that allows you to create and recreate today's hottest styles at home. I consider myself actually to be somewhat of a DIY expert. I'm pretty good at doing things. I don't read the directions. Yeah. And for the most part, use my street knowledge, which isn't really that much. I got some liquid starch, whatever that is. It's a great like yin and yang. I do know that these cakes are awesome looking. Threadbanger's been around officially mm -hmm. in three days. It'll be 10 years. Yeah. The stress of working together is definitely something that has almost ended our relationship yeah. many times. Well, it's kind of coming off a little like an infomercial. It was a rocky start. I think we have it, honestly. I don't want to do it again. And it was hard to make those shows. Like every show had like six different segments in it. So it was like, we're interviewing someone, we're going to this thing. And it was a lot of work. To sew or not to sew, that is the question. We used to take like little naps. Like it'd be like, all right, yeah. you're working on this for two hours and then I'm going to go to sleep for two hours and I'll pick it up. And we would just like trade, working at like 24 hours a day. And that, you can't do that for very long. We had 33 different shows yeah. that we had come up with within like the first like six years Red before banger. we uh -huh. kind of nailed mm -hmm. the show and the format that hit it, that sparked. Hey, top of the morning to ya. What was that, a pirate or a f leprechaun? That changed uh, everything yeah. for us. And it kind of happened by accident. Rob was having some major trouble getting a project to work. And I'm like, well, why don't you just show that it's not working? Like, people want to see that, you know? F you, Mirror. F you. It was just absurd. But, like, people like, loved it. it. What the f is wrong? Within the first year of us doing these new shows and these new formats, we grew by 4,000%. Yeah. It collects over time, and now we have this huge pile of stuff. So, there's just like this hockey stick of like that just goes up within six months. Like it went from zero to a hundred real fucking fast. Yeah, all of this stuff. I'm the crier, so I definitely cry <laughs> every once in a while while opening the mail because it's just mind blowing how much time and energy someone puts into sending you something like this. I started doing my own show. She started doing her own show and just like completely did her own separate things. And over that time, developed our personalities. There's probably five people in this world that are gonna make giant Lucky Charms marshmallows. The other are just gonna watch. Let the good times roll. Springtime has sprung, so I think we're gonna try some paper flowers. Ready to go to the store? Let's do it. It's you too. Yeah. It's your personality. That's what people want to see. That's like what the novelty is. Well, hello there again, internet. Corinne here, and you're watching Corinne versus Pin. We both kind of ended up getting our own audience and getting people who liked her and liked us. <laughs> Once we were comfortable with ourselves, we then kind of came back together on camera. Man versus Corinne versus Pin. Those are our most popular shows now, are the ones where we're back together now. That's you. Our videos get two million views, like on average. So it's like unimaginable to even see nervous projects. Oh, that's it, that's it. We're there. It has been released to the world. Four people have seen it. 
So are you pretty nervous when you ever eat still now? Totally, totally. <laughs> like, I mean, I am for like the first, at least the first half hour, and I just read every single comment uh, and make sure that nothing's wrong with the video. Uh, if they like the video, if they don't like the video, if they don't like the video, then it spirals into a six hour panic attack. It's only, it's only been a couple minutes. The video is nine minutes long, so after like those nine minutes end, I can get the, the real reactions. So we wait, we see what they think about it. <laughs> nice shirt. They like my shirt. And then if I get real crazy, I'll just sit here and refresh it every two minutes and watch the, <laughs> watch the view count raise. There have been really 13,000 people that have watched it. And the video has been up for six minutes. Everybody likes the Kanye West shirt. All right, now I think we're nine minutes in. Now the real comments start coming. There were so many years where we felt like we're putting all this hard work into something that no one's watching. No clue for future ideas, but I would definitely love to see this show continue. Now it's like we have created something. They are kind of liking it, which makes me feel a little bit better, but only a little bit better. And the cycle continues. And it'll never end. And then now we're at about 40,000 views in the first uh, 10 minutes. They hated it. They would have told me something by now. We're in the clear. We did it again. We've always known that we wanted to be in Asheville. I think within like the first maybe year or two that mm -hmm. we were dating, we came up here and it was amazing. Like We just loved it. But it took us 10 years to make it a reality. I think that the experiences and like the the fortune that we're having now with the channel and everything, I think it kind of like opens up a whole another landscape. There's always been a part of us who, that wanted like this expansive piece of land to do whatever we wanted on. So we are headed about 25 minutes outside of Asheville. We're looking at a hundred acre property, which is pretty exciting. A hundred acres sounds like a lot, but it is a lot, but it's usually a mountain. Yeah. It's like you're buying a mountain. And this is the closest to our vision, I think, that we've, we've seen a property. This is it. So I think since the mm -hmm. beginning, we've always been trying to look for like this like place to call our own. And then there's more little like coves and stuff over there, but we'll walk around the main part. One of the main goals for the property is we want to create like an artist retreat where artists can come and stay on the land for a month or two months to record an album or write a book or create a sculpture or something. Painting so, or... yeah. Farmer Rob. Uh huh, here we go. We don't plan to get it tomorrow. We're not ready for that. It's gonna take a long time. But in the next 10 years, we hope to really build it up and make it something super cool that we wouldn't mind spending the rest of our lives at. <laughs>